Welcome to Mexico City. As you guys know, I'm from Mexico City and we came to spend the holidays with my family. Yeah, and of course, uh, I'm from Canada, as you all know, and we've been married for, well, together for more than 10 years. So I've been to Mexico City many times. We come at least once a year. And of course, over that time, I found some of my favorite food in Mexico City. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you, well, basically what both of our favorite foods are here, the ones that we always go to every single time. And to start things off, we're here at La Cocina, which is my favorite place for breakfast. There are a lot of markets all around Mexico City, and this place is located inside a market. So probably if you come here as a visitor, you won't find this place because it's out of a touristic spot, but maybe we can share the address so in case you wanna take an adventure. But anyway, you can find the food that we're gonna eat here elsewhere. Well, before breakfast comes, I really need to go to the bathroom, and at this place, you actually have to pay to use the bathroom, so it's six pesos but you can wash your hands for free, so that's a nice gesture. One of the benefits of eating in a market is there's like a wide variety of different foods here, including shakes and juices and things like that, but this interesting food I remember trying the first time is called La Bamba. I thought I wasn't gonna like it. It's like kind of like a sweet bread from Veracruz with basically like the skin of milk. Sounds not very good, but it's actually quite delicious. You sprinkle a little bit of sugar on first. Very good, it just sounds weird, like the skin of the milk. Kind of when you boil the milk and you take the skin off. All right, well now I'm about to eat probably my favorite meal here in Mexico. It's actually the only thing I've ever ordered here, so I don't know what other things taste like, but it's called huevos a la tarasca. It's basically a quesadilla, so two tortillas with cheese and ham, two fried eggs on top, green salsa and beans, and it's delicious. I can tell you that this place is delicious and the best part is that having a shake your meal and the sweet bread that Matthew mentioned you will only pay seven dollars now we're at another one of my favorite restaurants La Casa de Tonio is that I say that right yes baby very good and this place has a lot of different Foods. It's actually a local chain, so you'll find it all over Mexico City. But the thing that we come here, the thing that made it famous is the pozole, which is a type of Mexican soup. So traditionally, pozole is made with pork. So it's pretty much a pork soup with the pork meat, maize, and then you top it with uh, lettuce and radishes, as well as oregano and lime. And on this side, it's very popular to have a tostada, which is a crispy tortilla. You just put a little bit of sour cream, and then you just have a bite of this and a bite of your soup. <laughs> so, because I'm not feeling very well right now, I'm having a chicken pozole, which is also pretty good. Actually, one of my favorite parts of eating pozole is the, the tostada and the cream. <laughs> it's very good and then of course you gotta wash it down with a michelada which is basically beer with lime and a salt rim. When I first had it I thought it was kind of gross because I thought it was like a sugar rim but it's actually, it grew on me. Now I really like it. It's a refreshing drink especially on a hot day. So one of the things Mexico is known for, of course, is tacos. There's tacos all over the place. You'll find them everywhere. But the place that we always come to, because Carla's been coming here since she was a kid, is Tacos Los Gueros. And I'm pretty sure it was the first place I ever ate here, because it's somewhat near the airport. So we actually came here when I first arrived, my first time more than 10 years ago. And they make a really good tacos El Pastor, which is my favorite kind of taco. And just so you know, Los Gueros is basically me. <laughs> someone who's very fair looking, so like white. Tacos de pastor are made with pork and tacos de suadero with beef. 
and we also got some uh, very traditional fresh water which is made of rice so this is the perfect mexican meal i love how carla calls this fresh water when it's got <laughs> it is fresh full of sugar and it's more like a rice pudding that's how I would explain horchata. But it's refreshing, isn't it? There you go. You're a pro eating tacos now, baby. They don't fall apart. Been here enough times. Now we're at La Vaquina which is one of my favorite places for the greasiest food you could probably find in Mexico. <laughs> it's called gorditas because that's what they'll make you if you eat too many of them. And uh, maybe I'll let Carla explain what's in them. Oh my God. Well, so it's dough, like corn dough. And then inside is chicharron, which chicharron is, it comes from pork. I'm not sure exactly if it's the skin, it's the skin of pork fried. They put this kind of like melted cheese and then they put cilantro and onion as well as their homemade salsa, which made them delicious. No matter the time, you always need to do a lineup, but they make them pretty fast, so it's worth the wait. Say uh, what you think of gorditas in Spanish. Ah. Las gorditas están ricas, muy ricas. Another thing we always get, at least once or twice in Mexico, oh my nose is running from the salsa, is a Coke because we don't drink that much pop in Canada. When we do, it's usually Coke Zero, but here they still have the glass bottle Coke that's made with cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup, and it really does taste much better. For our last three favorite meals, we're gonna be actually having them at home, so it's gonna be a lot easier to record it. Uh, to start things off, we're gonna be having breakfast, which is chilaquiles. So this is one of our favorite breakfasts. It's basically tortilla chips with either red or green salsa, um, cheese, onions, sour cream, and eggs. You can usually find this everywhere. They even usually have it at resorts, although it's not as good as Carla's mom's. So good. Or the only word I know is rico. <laughs> Literally. That's the only conversation you have with your, my mom. Never mind, the plans changed. I know. <laughs> We're no longer gonna be making the three meals at home. We're actually not gonna be making one of our favorite ones, which is enchiladas, but no big deal because Carla's really good at making those at home anyways. Okay, you know. However, my moms are better, but we ran out of time for some reason. Yeah, and one of the things we always seem to miss out on is sopes. So I always like the sopes that her uncle makes. So we're actually at her another one of her uncle's places and we're gonna be having sopes today. Sopes is a very simple food to make. You only need a corn tortillas, you fry them on a pan, refry beans, chicken or without chicken if you want a vegetarian option, as well as lettuce, sour cream, cheese. And the secret ingredient for this is my uncle Tofito's salsa, which he won't give the recipe because it's secret. And that makes them super delicious. Sometimes they're crispy, sometimes they're soft. If they're soft, better to fold them like a taco. How are they? As good as you remember? Still one of my favorite foods. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment. We'd love to know if you'd like to see more videos from outside Canada or about Mexico specifically. Aquí está mi mamá, this is my mom, and my sister. <laughs> see if you can do like a close up on the gordita. <laughs> and that while she's eating it. <laughs> <laughs>